It's Hitman, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to find retail sports cards. I'm gonna go over what's worked for me, my process, and uh, it'll definitely increase your chances of finding sports cards. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving away one blaster of 2020 Prism Football. All right, what is up guys? I'm gonna answer the question I get most on my YouTube videos, and that question is, how do you find retail sports cards? The hobby has exploded in the past year or so. Just this time last year, you could walk into a Target or a Walmart, and there would be shelves full of Prism basketball and Prism football. And mostly everyone would be like, uh, I will take one blaster, a couple cellos, and go home rip it, come back the next day, decide they want a mega box this time and grab it. Uh, unfortunately, it's not like that anymore. Um, the hobby has kind of exploded in the last year. And so usually it's, it's the first person that sees it on the shelf, gets it all. So, and you know what, to be honest, I have no problem with that. It, it does, it sucks when you can't find retail, but it does drive up the prices of singles and you know, that's just how it is now. I mean, it's it's supply and demand and Panini honestly can't put it out on the shelves fast enough. And when they do, it just gets all bought up and then there's a secondary market for it. And uh, you know, you can't be mad at it. That's just how it is now. So you have to adjust. Don't hate the player, hate the game, son. And uh, I will go over what's worked for me in finding retail over the past year or so. And I know it will work for you as well. So here it is guys. So if you think that you're gonna go to a store a couple times a week and find retail, that's not gonna happen. Hey, I tried my best! You can't just go a couple times a week for five minutes and be like, I never find stuff on the shelves. I never, I never find anything. All the flippers got it all. It's just not gonna happen that way. Of course, you know, they have the saying, a blind squirrel can find a nut every now and then. Squirrel? Yeah, you know. And it's true, maybe you'll walk in one day and the vendor is there stocking and you got lucky. That's all it is, that's luck. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. But if you really want to have the best chances to finding retail, you have to put in the work. How I started was I started with just a couple stores in my area and I recommend you guys do the same. One store, two stores, three stores, or even four stores. If you have four stores nearby you, then you can definitely frequent those stores and narrow down the time when they stock. So step number one is map out the stores around you. Kind of have a route, know which stores you're gonna check. And then you wanna be able to check those stores um, as much as you can. You know, I know some of you guys work 30, 40, 50 hours a week. Check it as much as you can. Even if it's only once a day, at least you'll narrow down when they stock. Another thing I want to add is if if you're out um, searching at stores you, and you run into um, other collectors, other people that are searching for cards, make friends, get everyone's, get their numbers, um, be friendly with them, share information with each other. Um, you know, what if what, you may run into somebody that may be like, hey, I know this store stops on Wednesdays between 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Well, there you go. You know, and some, and some collectors won't want to share any info with you. You are an asshole. But the majority of guys will. So I recommend you guys make friends and have um, other collectors that you guys share information with. And it could be a good thing because that relationship could mean when one of you guys score, you could, you know, give the other guy a couple boxes. And the relationships also help with intel. Maybe one of you guys 
head to this store while the other one heads to the other store to check stock and you guys could send pictures of stock to each other. It cuts your searching in half when you have someone else doing it with you. Target and Walmart are stocked by third party vendors. Target is stocked by XL vendors and Walmart is stocked by Anderson vendors. The boxes on it will be from MJ Holding, but MJ Holding hires Anderson em employees to stock their stock at Walmart. There are some targets that I know of that do their own stocking. That is rare. Some managers or some targets will stock their own items. You'll just have to be familiar with that target to find out. Another way to get info is uh, employees. You might want to talk to the employees that work that area or maybe the cashier that's sitting right that's right in front of that area. And you know, not all employees will know exactly what you're talking about. Some employees you ask, they'll be like, what? Sports, sports cards? Well, I, uh, I don't know anything about that. Or they'll give you wrong info. When you map out the stores around you and you go to that store and, and you take a mental picture, say you go on Monday and you're like, okay, this store did not stock on Monday. Tuesday after you get off work, you go to that same store, you see the stock and it looks about the same. You can know it did not stock Tuesday. Wednesday you go to that store and you see that it's cleaned up a little, but there's remnants of stuff. There's maybe some uh, Pokemon and Magic the Gathering and leftover sports, like the, the stuff that won't fly off the shelves right away. Like there's Topps Update, uh, maybe a few blasters of that. Uh, maybe a couple gravity packs of um, prestige football or something, some of the lower end products. That would mean that that store probably stocks sometime between Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. They usually don't stock at night, but that means that you've narrowed down the window to that store of stocking uh, during that time. Now you wanna do this for every other store in your area. And I use a calendar whether on your phone or maybe just a desktop calendar at home, but you have to collect this information, write it down, and that's what you'll use as kind of your map to know what time store stock. Now, of course, vendors can change their stock days. You know, a vendor could stock this target every Tuesday, and then all of a sudden the next week, they'll won't stock it on Tuesday, they'll stock it Wednesday. This is getting confusing. That is very possible. Vendors have lives as well. They take days off. If they're scheduled to do that store, maybe they take a sick day, that means they'll do it the next day. Holidays also throw off the stock schedule. For example, on Thanksgiving week, Thanksgiving was on Thursday, and you know the day after Thanksgiving, Friday is a big, big shopping day. <laughs> and so most of the stockers were off Wednesday and Thursday. So at my Walmart, usually they stock on Thursday and Friday, that week, they actually stocked on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday just to get the stock out before Thanksgiving and before the big shopping day. So holidays will definitely throw off the stock stocking schedule. After weeks or months of uh, checking your stores, finding out, kind of narrowing down the time that they stock, you'll eventually have a good idea of what time they stock. We know that this target stocks either Monday or Tuesday, and it's usually between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Well, that's the time when you'll have to go there and, uh, and, and maybe wait half an hour or an hour. Um, I usually don't like to wait more longer than an hour in a store. I like to get there. Maybe if I have an excuse to go to Target, I'll go at that time. Um, I'll check the cards, and if it's not there, I'll do my shopping. And uh, this has happened to me before where I've done all my shopping and as I'm walking out, bam, you see the, you see the XL vendor right there stocking the cards. So, and is that by luck? No, that's from months of Intel and knowing around what time they stock. Of course, there will be other people that know what time these vendors stock. So if you show up at a store and there's five or six guys waiting, that's a pretty good idea of that they kind of have the time frame down as well. And I just wanna let you guys know, don't be discouraged. I've had weeks of going to Walmarts and Targets as much as I can, probably a little too much, and not finding anything all week. You know, it, it's gonna happen. Sometimes you just miss every single stock. You get there an hour late on every single one. Eventually, if you can narrow down the time, you will hit the stock.
And this is another pro tip here. Some targets are limiting guests to two or four boxes. So those are the ones that you want to target if you want just a little bit to open. Of course, if you are there when the vendor shows up and it's a target with a limit, you're not going to be able to buy all of it. But I think it's a good thing because it, it gives everyone a chance, a better chance to buy some of it. Of course, there's always going to be those guys that go to self checkout to buy four boxes and they go out and they change into a different hat, <laughs> a different sweater and come back in and buy four more. Greetings, good man. Might I trouble you for a drink? I'll get out of here, Homer. There's always going to be people that try to get around the limit, but at least it slows down them down. And if you do run into the vendor, um, let, just know that these vendors are being harassed every time they get into a store. I would treat them politely. The po more polite you are with them, the more polite they'll be back with you. I've, e I've even had vendors who will tell me what store they're going to next. And that's through building a relationship with them. You know, talking to them like regular people letting them do their job before you start grabbing stuff off the shelves. Of course, the easy thing to do would be to put a GPS on the vendor's car. <coughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously. Definitely don't do that. And if there's any tips that you guys wanna give that I haven't mentioned today, go ahead and write it in the comments below. Also, the giveaway, if you guys want to win this blaster box of 2020 Prism Football, Make sure you like the video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Comment below and tell me your best trick to finding retail. And I will do a random comment picker at the beginning of one of my upcoming videos. Thanks everyone for watching and good luck out there searching for retail. I'll check you guys out on my next video. I'm out.